what I'm going to do is massive news blitz starting at 8 after the second segment of the next hour and continuing with open phones. Webster Tarp will pop it in for about 45 minutes in the last hour. I was going to have nothing but calls today, but then Ron Paul was on, and then Tarpley's just been right about too much stuff, uh, right on target. I just, my respect for him grows every day. So uh, that is coming up later in the transmission today. I did even skip a break last hour for Ron Paul because he had to change when he was coming on. I'm going to go back to Scott and Philip and Donna and David and Randy and others here in just a moment. But before I do that, I want to tell you about a few of the sponsors that have made today's transmission possible. Guys, you give me that stack of DVDs over there because I can't get up and get them. The number one sponsor is my films. The number one sponsor is my documentaries. That's how we fund this operation. That and our advertisers. Plus, these really are the premier anti-New World Order pro-liberty films out there. I mean, Endgame is more important than the Obama deception overall. This shows you who the globalists are, what their master plan is, that they're eugenicists, the admitted murder of troops and foster children and black people and Native Americans and everybody else. I mean, this film is what's on record. I mean, these people will take a two-year-old and strap them down and radiate them to death. They'll take a foster kid and give them drugs till they die, knowing it's going to kill them. I mean, you want to know who we're fighting, folks. These are real monsters, and Endgame covers it. Get it? Make copies of it. Get it out to everybody. This film needs to be mega viral. Generation RX, about how they're drugging our kids by design. Very important film we carry. Fabled Enemies, the latest and best 9-11 truth film out there with the latest info by Jason Burmes. Hardcore. Fabled Enemies. Anthrax War, new film we're carrying. Excellent getting into all that threat and the government operations and history of it. Very well produced. Global Warming, Emerging Science and Understanding, Dr. Michael Kaufman. Uh, very well done, even better than his last one, breaking down the fraud of global warming. You may know all about this. Your friends, your family, your neighbors don't. And they're using global warming to micromanage and set up the eugenics economy, the micromanaging uh, carbon tax, carbon footprint system. You need to see this film. This film's free when you get it with the Obama deception uh, or some of my other documentaries. Free. And it's the entire interview with Aaron Russo before he died, the last video interview out there. Uh, great guy. People kept asking for it on DVD. Here it is with an update by myself on the banking takeover, the New World Order, and a lot of his predictions coming true. Uh, it's reflections and warnings. It's about 100 minutes long on DVD. You can get it free. Check out the offers at InfoWars.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Films like Martial Law. The classic, three hours long with 45 minutes of extras. This is an incredible film. The police state, the New World Order, their philosophy, Bohemian Grove, all of it. This is like three films in one. The biggest film I ever made. This film has probably been seen by more people and more DVDs sold than all these combined. And uh, it's good because it shatters the left-right paradigm and how both parties are controlled. It's elementary. It's got a lot of insight and the latest developments in his real agenda versus his fake one. But it's very popular because it's elementary. It's designed for those that don't understand this. And it's breaking everybody's conditioning. This film is devastating. This is the film to show a beginner. The Obama Deception, own it on DVD. And a lot of other books and videos we carry. Okay, so Infowars.com or 888-253-3139. 888-253-3139. You can also uh, write to me. I'm Alex Jones at 3001 South Lamar, Suite 100, Austin, Texas, 78704. And I don't really use that Dropbox anymore. I'm supposed to stop using that. What's the P.O. Box? Let me, I got, make me start using the P.O. Box because I am just bad. I keep using that address and they tell me I can't use it in a couple months. Well, go ahead and tell folks on air, Hoosh. Pop that on air right now. It'll be 19549. Austin, <laughs> Texas. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me do it all for you. 19549. That's the P.O. Box. Austin, Texas, 78760. Good job, my man. Thank you. 
Now give it out to them again because they're going to call and say they didn't hear it. I mean, I, I, I couldn't even have written that down. Right, that that's fast. Free Speech Systems, LLC, P.O. Box 19549, Austin, Texas, 78760. That's right, and you can address stuff, Alex Jones, InfoWars, Free Speech Systems, whatever you like, uh, it all works. Okay, thank you so much. And then one last sponsor, I didn't plug any of this last hour, we're catching up, and we're going back to your calls, AcolaBlue.com. AcolaBlue.com. Did you know you can be drinking fresh, clean water made right from the air you breathe? No, this isn't something out of a science fiction book. Our sponsor, Acola Blue. With the Acola Blue 28 machine will allow you to do just that. It's easy to use, and it will make up to 7.5 gallons of water per day. That's just their smaller unit. The water, once generated, passes through seven-stage filter process, including reverse osmosis and carbur carbur yes, carbon filtration techniques, ensuring that you know exactly what you're drinking. No chemicals, pollutants, or fluoride. We spend so much time talking about on the show. Get your very own source of unlimited renewable drinking water, for you and your family today by visiting them on the web at acolablue.com or by checking out the banners on infowars.com and prisonplanet.com. Give them a call at 800-691-6043, 800-691-6043. Okay, I'm done with that five-minute rant plug fest. Let's just try to get to your calls here. Uh, Scott, recap the point you were making. It sounded really interesting, and then finish up. Yeah, well, basically what I was getting at is, is the finding out the why behind all these things. Everything that you're following, all those groups, absolutely it's happening, it's undeniable, it's indisputable. But I was trying to get as to the why. I mean, let's face it, most of us growing up, especially these days, are, are brought up to distrust politicians and world leaders because they seem to only have the interest of a very few elite at heart. But, I mean, did it ever occur to anyone that the bulk of the U.S. population and, heck, the world population, for that matter, does not have the mental capacity to deal with some of the difficult decisions that need to be made on a very grand scale. What do you think of it? Uh, what are you getting at there? I, I base, uh, what I'm getting at is I, I don't necessarily agree with... I agree with everything that you're saying. Everything is happening the way you say it's happening. My question is, playing devil's advocate here, is... Are we sure that this isn't a good thing? Are we not preparing for something bigger? Do we know why they feel it necessary to try to govern our lives as they do? Maybe it's good to take the third world children and deal with them for their own good. Right. Well. Give them a Colombian necktie? No, 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 no. I, I'm not going that direction. I I'm, know I'm it's just... for the earth because maybe the elites are the elites because they know something we don't and maybe it's sad but they're willing to do the tough things that's that's their attitude and so sorry about having to kill all these people but somebody's got to do it well and even think about their uh rfid chip which is come to uh, me my which, child come to yeah, me. yeah well come and that's an excellent way for them to track everyone's worth and i mean i mean i've seen the interviews with uh aaron russo and uh, you know everything you guys did there and i mean it's Although they talk about it as they, they play it off as a, as a means to uh, secure currency transactions, to secure your ID, all that kind of stuff, it, there's so many other functions that can, they can use it for, and that's basically your overall worth is tracked. And just like they said, if they don't like what you're doing, they shut it off. But when it's on, they know where your relative spot in humanity is based on your value, on your RFID. And we have these little carbon blobs, these third world people are hurting the earth because the carbon dioxide is deadly poison they exhale i mean everything the globalists say is a lie they're control freaks and they claim they don't want nukes spreading but they hand them out they claim that genetic engineering cross species is dangerous they're the ones doing it you know they're the ones engaging in all the experiments they're the ones dumping toxic waste they're the ones throwing nuke nuke reactors in in the black sea i mean they consistently are doing all this bad stuff and then always calling for more power out of the crises they've created. And you can argue that some areas of the earth are, could be overpopulated, some of these mega cities, and that some of the technologies are dirty, but they're suppressing the clean technologies. And then they say, oh, well, we're euthanizing and sterilizing and poisoning the third world to call their numbers. But when you find out, they actually said in the Royal Commission in 49, we're going to let their numbers explode to tie them down, and then we'll call them off later as part of another operation. So it, it, it's it's... It's very, very sick, and uh, not everyone is admitting there's a Bilderberg group. I've got Chris Matthews basically following White House talking points, saying we're all insane, and I'm going to play a clip of it later. I meant to yesterday. We're all insane and crazy, and uh, 
you know, and if we believe in Bilderberg Group, we're nuts. And uh, they got to go out from the Politico saying this when Politico's done reports admitting it's real and they're calling for world government. And then meanwhile, there's hundreds and hundreds of news articles a month calling for a world government to save us from the devilish carbon dioxide that plants breathe that is, you know, just so deadly it's it, it's scarier than a body snatcher. Uh, the globalists are control freaks. Hitler was killing all those people, saying there wasn't living space and that he had to make living. He was an environmentalist. He was a vegetarian. And I'm not saying envir all environmentalists or vegetarians are bad, but I'm saying the environmental movement was founded by the Rockefellers on record. And they set it up to teach us that humans were bad so they could have all the land and property.